Well, let's bring in a lawyer, Mike Davis, founder and president of the Article 3 Project and former law clerk to Justice Neil Gorsuch. Uh, Mike, welcome. What do you think of this, sir? I would say don't be fooled by this at all. This is just more political cover-up by David Weiss, this hand-picked uh, by both Democrat, uh, both Democrat senators in Del Delaware, this U.S. attorney who has protected the Bidens for years. He got evidence deemed credible by the Pittsburgh uh, U.S. attorney back in 2020 that the Bidens were involved in foreign corruption and bribery schemes. He did nothing about it. He let tax charges, uh, t tax evasion charges, he let the statute of limitations run on those. He came up with this sweetheart deal for Hunter with this backdoor, uh, this backdoor immunity, secret immunity. This guy could not be trusted. And the fact that he's not pursuing Hunter Biden for tax, uh, for, for uh, foreign corruption, for being an unregistered foreign agent, for, for wiretapping, for, it, for crimes that could actually tie Hunter to Joe Biden, shows you that David Weiss is continuing to cover for the Bidens. Now, that all makes sense, and uh, you're the, I agree. But here's something. When this indictment dropped, and I always thought this is the low-hanging fruit, right? But this is a real crime. I mean, this indictment, it does feel real. Unlike, you compare and contrast to the, the indictments of President Trump. When they came down, we saw right through it. This, you know, when you read it, we all know Hunter has done drugs. We see the thing right there. Are you a drug addict? Do you use drugs? Yes or no? He says no. We understand that. And that's wrong. And he did it. And now he's, you know, on some level, it's hitting us, I think, in a way I didn't expect. Yeah, this is definitely a real crime. And if, if Joe Biden were a U.S. senator, uh, you know, he's the one who advocated for these gun charges. And if, if Hunter Biden were a black man in Delaware instead of the president's son, he would definitely be in prison for a very long time for this crime. But let's get real here. There's not a chance that Hunter Biden is going to spend a day in prison over this. They're going to drag this out until November 5th, 2024. And then Joe Biden is going to pardon his son, maybe pardon himself. David Weiss is going to come up with some sweetheart deal again for, uh, for Hunter Biden, maybe diversion again where he doesn't go to jail. But in the meantime, between now and the presidential election, the Justice Department can say to Congress, we can't respond to your subpoenas for records and testimony because there's an ongoing criminal prosecution. That's what this is all about. The, the Hunter Biden will not spend a day in jail. You know, and also, I know, just like you say, they've got this thing going. It's inconceivable that they would indict him again, the federal authorities, whereas with Donald Trump, you know, they waited, what, four weeks to indict him again, uh, which seems incredibly unreasonable. But we can feel, I mean, in a weird way, it might be, I don't know. I don't know. I feel, let me ask you this. Isn't it true, and I remember seeing this, that not everybody who does this is necessarily charged, right? Um, I don't know if that's the case or not. It seems like these uh, these Democrat prosecutors certainly love to go after gun charges, right? So uh, the fact that sometimes they're not charged if they lie in the form and they don't obtain the gun. Hunter lied on the form and obtained the gun, right? So that's the difference. But I would say this. I mean, I would say it is more important for our country to know what whether the president of the United States is compromised by foreign bribes and other corruption, it's a lot more consequential to know that than whether Hunter Biden is convicted and received no jail time for a crackhead with a gun. So I would say to House Republicans, think about giving Hunter Biden immunity here. He's not going to jail regardless. So think about giving him immunity and making him come testify before the House uh, Oversight Committee or the House Judiciary Committee or the House Impeachment Committee because Joe Biden it appears, is very compromised by tens of millions of dollars of, in foreign bribes and other co corruption. Your piece in The Federalist, here's what the House GOP should do right now to fight Democrats' Republican-crushing lawfare. Uh, take us through it, if you don't mind, in about 30 seconds. Yeah, I think that House Republicans need to move beyond tweets and letters and start issuing subpoenas immediately for documents, for staff depositions, for public hearings, drag in these people. The reason that the Democrats are on offense with their lawfare against President Trump, the Republic ending lawfare, 
is because we don't have them on defense. The Bidens are committing real crimes. The Democrats are going after Trump for made up crimes. It's time for House Republicans to take off the gloves and get tough. Yeah, you know, a lot of them, they do, they tweet, all, and it feels like you've done something, but you haven't, right? It just, it just floats away. Uh, Mike Davis, thank you very much. Um, go to mikedavis.substack.com. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Be right back.